George and I collaborated on the design of the first equalizer. Uh, and it was against all the odds because we all had friends and business associates who have assured us that what we were trying to do could not be done. I mean, we are three quarters of the way through a console and we still had no input module. We had a mic preamp, but we had no EQ. Lots of nights trying to get an EQ that worked. And I had told George a long time ago, I thought we could have written a book entitled 900 Ways to Not Build an Equalizer. And I think other people may have read the book. Um, but our equalizer is unique. And let me tell you the people who said it couldn't be done. Uh, the fellow who wrote the IC Op Amp Cookbook, Walt Jung, who said he had looked at what we wanted to do and he felt it was probably extremely difficult, if not impossible. George went back to his a couple of professors at Johns Hopkins University, proving why uh, college ed education is not always the best thing in the world. Uh, and they assured him that it was imp technically impossible to do the three things we wanted with the level, frequency, and shape. Nope, can't be done. I came in in the morning and I still have it. It's a piece of white paste, paste, pasteboard with a exacto, number 10 exacto knife, stuck through it in my office door. And it basically it says, wow, what a groove. This is it. It works. And it was a crude circuit. I've made done a lot of improvements to it, but the basic circuits with all that counted, George made the essential breakthrough. I never tell people that was my idea. That was his idea was that last step that br brought it to work.